Hey everybody, Chris from Diesel Power Products here, and today we're gonna go over an airbag kit from Full Travel Bags, and then Dave is gonna install it on our 23 Power Stroke. At the time of this video, we've got a kit for a 14 to 24 Ram 2500, or for a 17 to 24 F250, 350, or 450, but be sure to check with us for other future truck options. So traditional airbag kits will have an airbag that bolts to your frame and then bolts to the axle, which is gonna significantly reduce your suspension travel. This kit is gonna come with a quick disconnect feature. So you're able to tow a trailer to your campsite and then disconnect this and then take your truck wheeling. So this is the first kit on the market with this type of design. It's made in the USA. Everything is really high quality. We got some billet parts here. Everything's powder coated and nice and it's gonna come with everything you need to install it. This is going to be a really good alternative to long travel bags as long travel bags mount inboard the frame, which puts a lot more stress on your axle. These are going to mount on the outside of your frame. So it's going to go right above your leaf springs. If you're looking at a kit for a 17 to 24 power stroke, be sure to check our product page for the proper leaf spring options. So now that you're up to speed with the kit, we're going to pass it off to Dave for the install. Working on a 2023 F250 trimmer with a full Carly kit and this truck's going to be pulling double duty hauling trailers as well so we have a, it's a full travel airbag set up for it and i'll show you how that thing goes together i've already got the suspension set up on this truck so it's got carly's long travel leaf pack and it's actually got sdi e-click shocks and all that so now we're trying to add in something for load carrying as well that'll allow it to have the suspension travel that you paid for with this Carly kit. So that's where this airbag kit comes into play. There's a bunch of variables with this kit. It's made to use the factory leaf springs. It's also made so that you can use it with this Carly kit. So it does come with like a different center pin if you need to change the center pin because you were getting rid of your old overload leafs and stuff like that on the stock ones. But we don't need that because the center pin and bolt is all good on this Carly spring already. This is a uh, the base plate for the whole bag system or for the bag base. So that'll go there and get sandwiched between the U-bolts and get all bolted in. I'm gonna go cut down the U-bolts because they come a little extra long and nobody likes these things hanging down and getting caught on rocks and stuff. Where's my chop saw? On this setup, I can chop off like an inch and a half on these U-bolts. This isn't totally necessary, it just sort of cleans up the install. stuff kind of goes back together like normal other than it having that full travel base plate sandwiched in there. So that's good for now. We're going to retorque those when the truck's on the ground. That's one of those things like once you do a lift kit or one of these things where you're messing with view bolts, torque it once it's on the ground and then come back in like 100 miles and torque it again. This is the base plate that goes with this kit. Basically this is, this is sort of like the, it's, I guess it's a base plate because this is not the landing pad for the bag. This is sort of the the part that stays on the truck whether you're running the landing pad or not. It just uses some pretty small Allen head bolts. You can't really reef on these things too hard so they suggest throwing a little bit of Loctite on them. 
The instructions have you put the notch in this base plate towards the rear of the vehicle and run these things down so they're good and tight but remember they're small bolts so you don't need to get after it too hard. Next up we got to start mounting the upper bracket for the bag. This truck has a fifth wheel mount, factory one. So not all trucks are gonna have this bracket right here. They will all have holes in the frame, but you'll see when we bolt the bracket on, they give us some spacers to compensate for the added thickness of that fifth wheel hitch. So this is the bracket. There's an orientation that the instructions will tell you to put it in. It also had a, a D on the driver's side bracket. So it made it a little bit easy. Go ahead and bolt the, go ahead and just hold the bracket up in place and then take a paint pen or a Sharpie or whatever and mark these holes because you got to drill those puppies out. I got here at work are some 12 volt drill and impact so we'll see if this thing will get it done basically we end up needing to drill the frame out so that we can run a 7 16 bolt through it I always like to start small and work my way up to it They have you run a 7 16 bolt through the frame. I'm going ahead and drilling it a little bigger than 7 16 because I know that my angle on my drilling is not totally perfect. So that'll give you a little bit of wiggle room for the bolt to fish through. that I drilled just so I can sleep at night. So the other thing you gotta be careful of is on the driver's side, there's a bunch of wiring that wasn't on the passenger side. So when I did the driver's side, I had to like unclip this big wiring bundle so that I didn't drill right into it. This side didn't have anything like that other than one wire and it was out of the way. If all goes well. Those holes will line up with my holes. This is the spot where if it didn't have that fifth wheel hitch, it would just bolt right to the frame. But since it does, we have these little quarter inch washers slash spacers behind the bracket. These upper bolts, you can go ahead and reef on those. The lower bolts, not so much because there isn't really a sleeve in the frame like the factory has up top. The lower ones need tight, but not like squish the frame tight. Sweep up your mess. Your wife's gonna kick your butt if you walk in the house and drag all this junk in the carpet. I guess it's time to put the bag in. That's pretty simple. It's on these fittings, even though it has some factory paste on it. Anyways, give it a little bit more. It goes in the bag.
pipe thread, so you kind of just have to get the feeling of when it's going to be good. There's four mounting positions on this. So I'm not going to... I'm kind of finding the second one from the front and I'll put it together there. But I'll probably have to go back and fine tune it once we get weight on the truck. So that's kind of what's cool about this. Like if you have a lift leaf spring that's got a big arc to it, the suspension's gonna cycle to the back more than it would in a stock setup. So it looks like they give you options for fine tuning that with the four holes in the bag bracket. So that's gonna go there and then this is the landing pad for the whole situation. Essentially, this is the premise here. Like you have the suspension with all this travel, right? This Carly kit, I think has, I think it has like around 10 and a half inches of wheel travel in the rear, which is quite a bit. Normally with an airbag, you can't get that much travel out of it. So you'd be like overextending the bag or bottoming it out, depending on like how you set it up. With this kit, you can have it set up as it is right now and have full suspension travel. And then when you go to tow your boat or your trailer or whatever, you can put this bracket in there. And when the truck gets overloaded, this will come down and just rest on that cradle. And that's when it's gonna like help support the load. So it's kind of a cool setup kind of a different way of going about it. There's other airbag cradles on the market that are just sort of like a platform for the bag to land on and they work pretty good. But this one with the adjustability of being able to take out this block that's like three inches tall is what gives you the ability to have that full range of travel. All right, that's it. The bags are in, the landing platforms are in place. I've got to put it on its weight, fine tune a few things, torque the U-bolts. And a full travel bag sets you up with enough stuff to do an air system for your rig. We're going to ditch this and go with a pack brake controller for this and like onboard air so we can air up tires off-road and a bunch of other stuff. But pretty simple install. It went together smooth. If I had better drill bits, that would have gone a little quicker. But all in all, I think I've got the rear bags on this truck in about two hours, which is pretty cool. Keep following along. Um, there's a whole lot more work to do on this truck. It's got all kinds of cool stuff getting done. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to give us a call. We have sales techs on the phone from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, Pacific time. You can also reach us by email or chats on the site. We're here to give you the best tech support in the industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.